Welcome to the continuation of my video series on QGIS. In the last video, I explained to Ross and uh, took us through the process of downloading QGIS from the internet and installing it on our computer. So in this video, we want to look at another aspect that is very, very important in our GIS work, and that is downloading spatial data. That's what I'll be uh, taking us through in this video. Anytime we want to prepare a map, the map we intend to prepare is the end product. But then, before we can get the output, we need input. And the input we need in the case of preparing map using QGIS are the spatial data. We we'll need to provide QGIS with some data and then use QGIS to now produce the map, which will be the output. So if you cast your mind to production process in a factory, you know there is the machinery, the, the equipment, the machines that are actually tools for production. You bring in your raw materials, you take them through the machines, and at the other end, you get the output. That's the same thing we do in QGIS. QGIS itself is like that engine, that machinery. Now you feed it with spatial data that forms your raw materials. And on the other end of it, after, the, after QGIS have been used on the raw data, uh, that's on the spatial data, what you get as the end result or the output are the maps. So that, that, that's the process. So data are key to any GIS operation. And that's why we want to focus in this video on how do we download spatial data. Of course, spatial data can be procured, that is purchased. There are organizations that uh, produce spatial data for sale for commercial purposes. But uh, we are very fortunate that on the internet, there are some websites that also make spatial data freely available, such that we can download for free without paying. And this data, can then be used to produce whatever kind of map we need. So in this video, we want to check out one of such sites where we can download free spatial data. And that is a very key thing. So let's see how we go about that. So let's open our browser and uh, let's Google search for free spatial data download because we need free okay i have it here already so free spatial data download that's what we type we want to download free spatial data so we search for this when you search for this in google here are the results that i have and i will scroll down you see it's important that i put free there because if i don't put free there it may display areas where I will need to pay to be able to get the data. So that's why I'm using free. So we can download and make use of such. So scroll through this. And uh, you get to this. Of course, here you can see there's an ad, advert button put here. Another one here. So the the, the next one that is free is this. You can see it here. Free spatial data, Diva GIS. So this website is a very, very important website where we can get free spatial data to use in producing maps. So let's click on it. When you click on that, it opens up the free spatial data site. And here you see the kinds of data that are available. We have the country level data, 
And if you read that, it says, download country level data for any country in the world. That's powerful. Any country whatsoever in the world, the data are available here for free. And what are the types of data available? Administrative boundaries, roads, railroads, altitude, land cover, and population density. So all these are available for various countries of the world, and they can be downloaded here on this site freely. Of course, they have other data uh, like global climatic data, which can be obtained here. Uh, what climb species data, you know, quite a number of uh, data sources that are listed here. But let's settle for this. So there's this icon, I mean, this uh, hyperlink here we can click on country level data. That's what we want. So let's click on it. When you click on it, it opens this page that says download data by country. So to download data by country, the countries are listed here. Look at it, drop down menu, I mean, drop down button there. You can see all countries. So you just scroll down to the particular country you are interested in. So here in this example, I want to select Nigeria as the country of interest. So I click on Nigeria. So it's right there. That's the country. Now, the next thing is the subject. That's the type of data. We have administrative areas. If I click the drop down button there, you see, I also can download data on inland water on the roads, railroads, elevation, you know, land cover, and so on. So we have all these series of data here. So let's deal with administrative areas because this deals with boundaries. Uh, so let's pick administrative areas here. And that's all we need to do. Now, if you want to read more about that, you just, you can scroll down here. See all the various types of data available that are listed under this drop down menu here. You can see little, uh, you can see their description here. So the administrative areas shows boundaries. So country outlines and administrative subdivisions for all countries. The level of subdivisions varies between countries. So, and the format of the data of course, is vector data. So we'll download administrative areas. So we have that already. So we'll just now click OK. Don't forget again, specify the country, specify the data type you want or subject, and then click OK. So we click OK here, and it brings us here. It's now ready. It says just to be for us to confirm. You want to download data for which country? Nigeria. And then you selected administrative area. Is that what exactly we want? Yes. So we'll now click download. So we'll click the download button and the data will be downloaded. You can see it now. It has opened the window here, the dialog box here. And that data, if you look at it, is a is zip data. The file name is NGA uh, underscore ADN. That's admin dot zip. So it's a zip file is compressed and the size is 2.5 megabytes. So if we want it, we'll just click and say download, start download, and it will be downloaded. So once it's downloaded, we can go uh, to where we can access it and we access it there. But then uh, we want to download another one. Uh, we go back to country level data here. S still same country, Nigeria. We scroll down to it. Scroll all the way down to Nigeria. And once we are there, we select it. 
and we have downloaded administrative areas let's do roads roads yes so here now we have roads and then we'll click ok and then it says you want to download for country nigeria and subject roads yes so i'll click download so once i click that it opens up this and it tells me look at it the zip file will be nga underscore rds dot zip so it's also a zip file and it's 691.57 kilobytes that's the size then i'll click start download and then it will also be downloaded okay so i have these files downloaded and now i will go to where they have because they are they, they are compressed they are zipped so i will need to unzip them in order to use them so so now i've opened up the folder where the files uh that i've just downloaded the zip files are so you can see them here so they are compressed so they are zip files so you can see this folder here this folder here this is the first one downloaded at me and then this one nigeria roads that's the second one so let's open them up to see what they contain uh we open the first one look at it the first one nga admin look at all the files there so these are all the files there different types of files so what we need to do is to extract this now and i will click on this tool here extract all and i will extract it to a new folder so that i what i'm say what i'm doing by extraction is um uncompressing it so to say so i will say extract okay so it's done so you can see now these are the files no longer in the zip folder uh, if you look at it here you can see this is the zip folder look at this zip here compressed folder but this one is the uncompressed folder so this is where i will access the data for use if i want to use the data for uh, in qgis so let's do the same thing for this one the nigeria roads i would uh, double click to open it so it opens up and it shows me the files there four files there so i will again click on extracts or extract all and then i will select extracts i mean so it's also extracted so you can see the four files now uncompressed folder here now let's see my folder again so you can see the two compressed folders that were downloaded and now i have unzipped the files there so and put them in these folders that are uncompressed so from here now i can access any of the files and use them in qgis so this is the process of downloading data from free uh, free sites uh, for us to use in the next video we'll uh, start to make use of some of these files that we have downloaded so that you can see how we use this raw data so to say or these raw materials or inputs and use them in the process of producing maps the kind of maps that uh, we want as our output so that will be the subject of the next video